We hope you enjoy it. The children have practiced a few minutes each Wednesday night on this. We haven't practiced a lot because we spend most of that time at Awana studying and memorizing scripture. But we thought it was important that the kids understand the real meaning of Easter. So we wanted to share this with you. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they might go to anoint Jesus' body. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb, and they asked each other, Who will roll the stone away from the entrance to the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You're looking for Jesus the Nazarene who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him? But go, tell his disciples and Peter. He is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. Crucified 
outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white, seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head, the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have stolen my Lord and taken him away, she said, and I don't know where they put him. At this, she turned around and she saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't realize it was Jesus. Woman, he said, why are you crying? Who is it you're looking for? Thinking it was just the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you put him, and I will go get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher.
rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumphal procession and through us spreads everywhere the knowledge of Jesus. Jesus overpowered death and the devil by coming back to life. The Bible says, when you were dead in your sins, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins. He took it away, nailing it to the cross.
that's Easter. And we hope uh, this little program helps these children remember that Easter is not about bunnies and Easter eggs, but it's about the fact that he ain't here anymore. Amen. He has risen Amen. just as he said, and he is forever and ever God. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for coming.